I am virtually certain that the vast majority of my audience is going to be tuned in this coming Tuesday when Donald Trump and Kamala Harris take the stage for their first one-on-one head-to-head debate. Now, I'm also certain that the vast majority of my audience has their mind already made up about who's going to win and who's going to lose and who they're going to vote for. But there's something that I think a lot of those folks have forgotten. Something that happened back in 2016 that I think is going to be relevant. Who remembers all of the big talk from Mr. Trump when he was debating Hillary Clinton? And who remembers how fast that changed after he got elected? You see, even now, he is coming out and saying in multiple venues that it would have been a shame to have locked up a former first lady. I have a lot of respect for the Clintons. We needed to move forward and heal with unity. You see, that shocked a lot of his supporters, but, you know, when you're in an emotional state in support of somebody, you just forget and you move on. What's going to change if Donald Trump gets elected? That's something people really need to be thinking about. And why? This is why. Because Donald Trump, if he gets elected, is going to give all of his supporters and the world, truly, a lesson in how capitalism works. Wait, Florida Maquis, you lost me. You were talking about the debate and Kamala, and then you were talking about Hillary, and then you were talking about, and, and now you're talking about capitalism. Well, remember something. Once Donald Trump, the ultimate businessman, has what he needs from you, his voters, and if he gets elected, he no longer has any use for you, does he? No more Trump rallies, because he doesn't need to raise any more money. Because he can't be re-elected. He's only got four more years he can serve. So where would the money come from? Battlefield of the Mind. Now, brand new video just posted only a few hours ago over at the Florida Maki Patreon channel outlines what's going to happen in detail. And I will stand by it. I will stand by it if Trump gets elected. I know exactly what he's going to do based on observed behavior without being emotionally involved with the man. Now, if you'd like to join us and see that video, believe me, you're going to want to see it. It's only one U.S. dollar per month. That's it. Even less if you sign up for an entire year. And once again, fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. You don't have to stay signed up over there for a year or two years or five years. You can go over there, pledge a dollar, kick the tires, watch all the videos, hundreds and hundreds of videos going all the way back to 2017, 2018. And if it's not for you, then 90 days, full refund. No questions asked. Here's a preview. Hey, Donald Trump, you've got a bunch of lawfare issues going on, don't you? Don't you? I mean, you got elected. You got elected. We tried. We tried to stop you. But you see, your supporters now, they're really of no more use to you. They can't do anything more for you, but... You could sure do something for us. We could make all of your lawfare go away. You spent a lot of money on lawyers, haven't you? Well, guess what? Guess what? We can make all that go away if you just work with us. And all we're really going to ask you to do, all we're really going to ask you to do with gun control is just stick with promises that you've already made. 22 February 2018, I will strongly be pushing comprehensive background checks with an emphasis on mental health, raise age to 21 for all weapons, and end sale of all bump stocks. Congress is in a mood to finally do something on the issue of gun violence, I hope. At Real Donald Trump, 513 AM, 22 February 2018. And of course, everybody knows, take the guns first, go through due process second. You see, That's not a fun thing to say when you need to be reelected, but once you've been elected for the second time and you need money, and remember, 
Remember, Hillary for prison was never really a thing. It was never a thing. He's even said so. Don't believe me. Believe Donald Trump. Believe Donald Trump. Yeah, I'm not saying he said this. He's saying he said this. 20, Friday, January 2017. Donald Trump leads standing ovation for Hillary and Bill. A quote, fact check me if you like. There's nothing more I can say, Donald Trump speaking here, I can say because I have a lot of respect for those two people, speaking of Bill and Hillary Clinton. You watch how fast the chameleon changes, and now is a great time to be paying real close attention. You watch how fast the chameleon on the left changes. Oh, sure, you may be agreeing a lot of what he says, now, but can you trust him? Can you trust him? LGBTQ fundraisers, Operation Warp Speed. Something I don't think a lot of people would have predicted. You see, criminals don't obey laws. They don't care. And once they're done with you, they're done with you. How many J6 people are still in prison? How many? Has Donald Trump stepped up and put any money up for lawyers? Any money up for any defense? Any money up for anything? No. Not a dime. This is my favorite. This is my absolute favorite pick. Why is it your favorite pick, Mikey? I don't get it. That's That's Mike Pence. Well, there's this funny thing being spoken about. Folks on the right, Kamala Harris has had three and a half years to do all of this to fix the economy, and she hasn't. Really? Was Mike Pence responsible for everything that happened in the Trump administration? Was Mike Pence directly responsible for what happened in the Trump administration? Meaning, why isn't there lawfare against Mike Pence, like there is against Mr. Trump? Well, that's because that's because it was the it was the Trump agenda, and it was the Trump way of doing things. And Mike Pence was long for oh, okay. So, like Biden inflation and Bidenomics, Kamala Harris has just been along for the ride, just like Mike Pence was along for the ride. So, trying to make everything that happened under Biden stick to Kamala Harris is going to be just about as successful and as likely as trying to give any credit for what happened under Mr. Trump to Mike Pence. It doesn't work. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. But Florida McKee, if we have four more years, don't you remember what happened with the, the BLM riots? Donald J. Trump spoke with Mark Fisher yesterday, a great guy, very honored to have his and BLM support. I have done more for the BLM types than any other president, including 10-year funding for historically black colleges and universities where they had none, opportunity zones, criminal justice reform, letting people go free, and all this other stuff, and much more. Thank you to Mark. Don't believe me? Think this is fake? Fact check me. Please, look it up. Look it up. Look up Donald J. Trump, Mark Fisher, and BLM. Throw it into a search. See what you get. Do I need to say anything? I want you to, if you have the ability to, I want you to save this picture and then see if you have some type of a program that will allow you to remove Donald Trump from the picture and put any other politician or celebrity in this picture and then ask yourself a question with that new person in the place of Donald Trump. Gosh, would that person have a chance in politics at all? to ever do anything if this picture existed? What are you trying to say? Well, what I'm trying to say is the man who took this picture needs to have won an award. I especially want the ladies in my audience to soak this picture up, the female Trump supporters, to soak this one up. Because as we know, this is his daughter, by the way. This is his daughter. I want you to look at the hands. And I want you to look at the eye line very closely. Guys out there with daughters this age, 
Ever had your hands that low? Ever had your eye line that low on your own kid? But I suppose that's probably something we should expect from Mr. Trump, the Disney defender. And he is a Disney defender. Here is at real Donald Trump again on his own platform. Going after, of course, true family man, decent conservative, Governor Ron DeSantis, alleging he was being absolutely destroyed by Disney. And how, you know, Disney is going to, you know, be in such a better position and all this blah, 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 blah. So, so pro-Disney, pro-Epstein, and what else do we have here? Oh, yeah, of course. Something that also has never been explained. Mike Pence comes out, denounces Donald Trump, sides with Joe Biden, says he's not going to endorse Donald Trump, accepted the 2020 results, and Trump has recently referred to him as a nice man. However, Governor DeSantis stood with Donald Trump, has attacked Joe Biden, has called the 2020 results likely fraudulent, and Trump has called him a disloyal traitor. But that's who you're going to vote for? This is who you're going to vote for? Those of you out there who are worried about Trump's stance on Israel, I want you to look at this. See this piece of paper being signed here by this guy all in black with a little funky hat? It was for weapons. Military weapons. U.S. grade, high-powered military weapons to a man who said that, this is uh, Muhammadu Bahari, president of Nigeria, quote, I will continue to show openly and inside me the total commitment to the Sharia movement that is sweeping all over the country. God willing, we will not stop the agitation for the total implementation of Islam and the Sharia. Let's give weapons and shake hands. I just don't know how anybody can say this guy is a serious candidate electing an 80-year-old man. Anything could happen any time to an 80-year-old man. Anything can happen at any time to an 80-year-old man, and this is who you want to hand the reins to? Really? And we could probably do an entire video on the idea of bringing in one billionaire, bringing in another billionaire to gut the federal government of all FTC and FDA protections. How many of you have heard about the huge listeria outbreak up east with all the boar's head meat? Well, you see, if Donald Trump had his way, nobody would have any recourse. Because he would get rid of all the, oh, you see, they call it unnecessary regulations. Unnecessary. You'd have no recourse whatsoever. FTC, all these things that protects people. Oh, and of course, that would make sense. Here's 21 February 2019. Donald Trump, at real Donald Trump, I want 5G. I want 6G. As soon as possible. Far more powerful, faster, smarter than the Curtis Sanders. This is who you're going to vote for? This is who you're going to vote for? Okay. I don't want to hear anything about chemtrails. I don't want to hear anything about weather warfare. I don't want to think about HARP. I don't want to hear anything about 5G. Because Donald Trump's for it. Donald Trump's all for it. See, he knew you wouldn't remember this because it was 2019. This is what Donald Trump does and what he knows. So whatever you see, whatever you hear, whatever you think about the debate, just remember, it can change 180 degrees tomorrow. He can change his mind 180 degrees within just a matter of minutes. And believe me, to make this go away, to make his lawfare problems go away, to get his money back, You bet he will. He's got no more use for you. What are you going to do for him? What are you going to do for him? Now, we get farther into this at Patreon. And there's an analogy over there that virtually every man and woman in this country and in others, I guess, can relate to that when you see it, you will absolutely be shocked. You'll be stunned. You'll wonder how you haven't seen what's really going on by watching this video. And like I said, one dollar, no risk. One single dollar, no risk. But trust me, when you see the analogy, 
that I make over there, and it's too non-PG of a subject to put here on YouTube, or I would. So join us. Love to have you over there. Just remember the flip-flop. If you think Kamala Harris is a flip-flopper, this guy has been both a Republican and a Democrat twice in his life. That's right. Republican to Democrat to Republican to Democrat and or was Democrat to Republican, Democrat to Republican, a reform party, whatever suited his needs. Lock her up. Oh, I have so much respect for her. That would have been a shame to have locked her up. Let's give them a standing ovation. Mike Pence. Oh, I can't believe Mike Pence. He's a nice man. Governor DeSantis. Oh, great guy. Oh, I hate him. Oh, but I like him now. Oh, but oh, he's terrible. Oh, but Disney. It's He's a chameleon. He's a chameleon. And trust me, you're going to get a good, fat, healthy dose of what capitalism is all about. Highest bidder. And believe me, when the left realizes this, when the left realizes they can buy the guy, once he's done with you, once he's done with you, Katie, bar the door. Gun control? Gun control will be the tip of the iceberg for what he does if he gets elected. Now, funny thing, she gets elected. She gets elected. Guess what? Congress, in two years, the courts are already held by conservatives. Congress, the House and Senate, will go full conservative and she will be pretty much lame duck if she gets elected. But he will be open to the highest bidder and you don't count. No more Trump rallies. No more fundraisers. No more MAGA. MAGA's, MAGA was a slogan to get him elected. Privately, to him, it's a pain in the ass. He hates it. But he needs to stick with it for another, what is it, couple months? Just another couple months. You have to learn to think like these people and understand. But the real story, the real story, story is Battlefield of the Mind. Battlefield of the Mind. Because if you haven't been thinking about this already, you might ask yourself, have I been operating emotionally? Have I been operating in a way that's driven by my feelings and not by what I think? That is the entire goal of the channel, the Florida Mikey Patreon channel as a whole. And believe me, there are people out there that don't want you to know this. They don't want you to have this information because once you're armed with this information, you're no longer a mark. You're, you're no longer a patsy. So love to have you over there. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.